Let me show you a quick method of using ChatGPT for making your drawings as well as using it for learning AutoCAD. So here I have this title block. Now let's say I want to add drawing title here. We want to use an automatic thing called field here. For that, I'll go to this ChatGPT prompt and here simply ask the question. How do I create file name field in AutoCAD title block? That's it. And here we have the answer in no time. So all you need to do is just follow it step by step. Now, another use case of chat GPT is when you don't know the command name that you maybe want to use for something specific. For example, which command I can use for adding center line in AutoCAD. And here we are. So interestingly, there are two commands that you can use. You can use center line command to create finite center lines and X line to create infinite construction lines. So this is really great tool to use with AutoCAD. So first things first, this is architecture software rather than engineering software. Um, I actually wanted to be an architect. Uh, I applied to college to go be an architect. I took my portfolio to the assessment. So they said, this is an engineer's portfolio. Go, go be an engineer instead of an architect. Uh, and so I did. Um, Interestingly, this is already the way that I use ChatGPT because I don't have the patience to sit through how-to videos anymore and I prefer to read written text very, very quickly. Uh, but there's not actually that much of... There's not, not that much written text available for manipulating modern software packages. It's mostly done in video. A really easy way to find the answer to exactly the question I want is just dive into ChatGPT because it's already ingested all of the manuals that just usually knows the answer unless that package is extremely new. Uh, so videos like this are going to become redundant as everybody starts using large language models to learn how to operate software very quickly. Uh, interestingly, years ago I tried to learn Arduino, but I didn't have enough time. And the pace of learning available to me was very slow because I would have to search through a lot of information, a lot of manuals, a lot of videos to find the answers to what I needed to answer in that specific moment. Whereas with an LLM, I can just say, you know, how do I account for the voltage drop across across these terminals? And it will answer that for me. Like, how do I program this motor to spin clockwise instead of counterclockwise with this board? It just has the answer for me. If it doesn't have the clearest answer, I can just ask it more. A little bit like having an expert next to you. And so I think what this is going to drive is much better learning. Like, much, much faster learning. Learning at anybody's pace. You can go as slow or as fast as you want. I, I really wish I'd had access to this kind of tool when I was at school and when I was at college. I think I'd know a lot more than I do now.